Okay, this is Paul, Inventor 3. My friend Bob. How you doing, Bob? Okay, let's go. <laughs> here we go. We're going to be testing uh, another circuit here. Sent to, uh, sent for my friend Gary in Canada. Uh, he's got a little bit uh, different diodes in there. I'm not sure exactly what they are and uh, what type they are. Uh, some uh, 16 only 16 volt uh, polarized caps in there 220 microfarads and uh, four very very small uh, while well, these other four capacitors are only rated at like 630 uh, picofarads a very strange very small amount let's see how this circuit does here okay we're gonna connect up our power here let me show you real quick and get a good shot of the circuit okay the black that red wire you see going up is just uh, holding everything taunt in the air meanwhile our black wire so our circuit floats in the air a black wire going let me get the it's hard to see they get mixed in with the meter wires but you can see the black wire down there going to our ground pipe just five feet deep okay back up to our circuit and there's our antenna wire coming off of there let me show you antenna wire goes way up there 33 feet near the gods near the gods now this is only one antenna wire on here, not two. Oh, let me back out here. Let's go back to our circuit here. And let's turn our meter on here. We're going to check the voltage. And what do we got? 16.65. That's volts. Just to show you. DC volts. Okay, 16.64. There you have it. Okay, this is without any coils, just a setup you see. And that antenna way up there is uh, 33 feet high. Oh, I forgot how long our antenna wire length actually is. But there's nothing touching the antenna. That's very, very, very important. Not a tree leaf, nothing touches the antenna. Completely insulated from everything. If I could pick up th this end of the circuit higher in the air, you'd probably get even more voltage. Okay, now let's see, we'll quickly disconnect this circuit and uh, sh let's see what my circuit does here. You want to raise it then? You want to raise uh, it real quick? Nah. You want to hold the camera one second? Just uh, focus over here, let's see. We'll turn the meter off, disconnect that. No, no editing. Let's see. Everything's filmed live, coming to you live. Okay, two seconds. I had an eloquent, oh, I'll have to solder that back for him. <laughs> All right. I had an alligator clip on this antenna at one time. It kind of rusted off. I'm gonna have to order some better uh, alligator clips, see if I could find some nice stainless steel, high quality type, or some kind of coated. They rust too easy. Okay, connect our antenna up here. Let's see, connect our ground. Uh, be careful where you're holding the circuit here when you do this. You don't want to blow out your diodes. Okay, now I'm going to hook up our meter here. Let's see which side is uh, negative here. Okay, this side, right there. And, whoops, right at this end. Okay. And let's see what voltage we have. <coughs> 16.65. Uh, 
17, 18. Still rising. And what did we have off the other circuit? Uh, 16, 16 something, yeah. 16.4 constant. So you could see just the type of components you have will make the difference. Let's see how high this goes. We'll keep running for a minute here. 20. Maybe, Gary, even if you change your diodes to regular silicon diodes, I think you might even get better results with that. If you can't find these, what I use is a 1N34-A diode, germanium. Let's see, my capacitors, oh, let's see, what are they rated at? I think they were at 50 volts, if I'm not mistaken. But they're one, the, the, the electrolytic ones, yes, they're rated at 50 volts, 100 microfarads. I'm going 20.5678969. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of leveling out. Well, let's see here. If you could show this, let's see for one second. I'm gonna unclip this. Oh, thing is my, I was gonna say, I wanna try raise this up higher. Well, let's see, yeah. We'll have to extend our ground here real quick. I'm gonna stick this yellow in between our black ground wire to, hopefully I can lift this higher into the air and see what happens.